He'll make an opening statement and then we'll open it up to questions. Please raise your hand for your one question and we'll pass you the microphone. I'll hand it over to Coach. Um, you know, obviously, as I just told the team, disappointing. Um, had a lot of opportunities to win that game and then we didn't. Um, credit to them for continue to, to battle back and, and be resilient when we went up and you know we gotta we gotta finish that game and uh, tough loss but but as I told the, the the group of guys man we got a, we got a good football team and at times we showed it today um, versus a really good football team and so you know to be on the losing side it, it it's it, it hurts it stinks but we gotta own it we gotta learn from it and we gotta get back to work on as coaches tomorrow and as a team on Monday and um, use the pain of, of, of a loss to really help us find a way to get better, you know? And uh, as I told them, we're always chasing, reaching our full potential every Saturday. And, and there was at times today we didn't do that. And we got to figure out why and, and, and make sure that we attack it and, and, and don't let it happen, you know? And so, you know, it's disappointing. It is, it is, it is. And, and we are disappointed, but we got to move forward. We have to move forward um, because we got to get ready for our good Duke team next week. So with that, I'll open up for questions. We'll start second row on your left, Tyler James. Marcus, on that third and 19 play where they get down to the one yard line, what was the plan there? What went wrong that allowed them to get the first down? Yeah, we wanted to play coverage, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, we thought we were going to be able to kind of give them a different look and, and play some quarters and, and Threw a good ball, man. He threw a, a really good ball. That last series, we're trying to kind of mix it up a little bit with a young quarterback and not just play man every play and you know putting it in a tight window. And uh, they made a play. Was there an emphasis to try to tackle them short of the fir first down so they can't run another play? Or was that, uh, it, or I, I don't know if there was a. No, a it was an emphasis not to let them catch the ball and get a first down. Thank you. Down in front on your right, John Bryce. Marcus, you just said a moment ago you got to use the pain of this loss and try to learn and benefit from it. But then you're also very much about one play, one life, live in the moment. So, so how do you balance that? How do you not let that pain linger? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 natural. It's natural feelings that you're going to have. We're all disappointed, you know. And, and at some point, you got to get ready to move on to the next game. Obviously, it's not going to be tonight. <laughs> you know, you want to go and watch it and learn from it. And we have to use. We use every game to make us better, but specifically this one, right? How do you find a way to make your team better um, through a difficult loss? And um, we'll do that. We'll do that. I know I know our coaches and our players will. And then your, your last true offensive possession after the fourth down stop, I guess around the 11-yard line, what was what went into the conversations there to talk about whether run or pass and then how you use timeout? To yeah. Ground? I was in communication with Jaren. I didn't – there wasn't a way to just run the ball – and the game would be over, right? And so what I didn't want to do was concede to say, okay, let's just run the ball three times, make them use two of their timeouts, right? And then all of a sudden, we're just punting the ball and, and, and just giving them a chance to, to come down the field with the same amount of time they had. And so as I told them, I said, hey, let's be smart, but let's, let's play to win this game. Let's play to win this game. And so um, that's what we did, you know? And a second down screen is, is almost as good as a run, you know, but obviously it was tipped and the kid made a great play and, and the clock stopped and then we ran it on third and uh, made him use a timeout. And so, again, I, I told those guys before the game and I told those guys during the game, I don't want to play to lose. I want to be aggressive and attacking and that's what we did. Front row on your left, Tyler Horka. Marcus, the film shows that on that last play, there were only 10 people on the field. Just curious what happened. Yeah, we were trying to get a fourth D lineman on the field and. I told him just stay off because we can't we can't afford a penalty. I didn't have any timeouts, right? So we couldn't afford a penalty there. Um, you know, and yeah, it's it's on us. It's we've got to be better. Before that, when the game comes down to that last play like that, what's the message to the team in the huddle and just to, before they get out on the field? Freaking win the interval. That's all I said. Uh, so I said, you know, it was really two plays. We caught a timeout on third down, right? And so there's two plays. Um, really to be prepared for in that situation. And so, you know, they went and threw it incomplete pass, had three seconds left, and we couldn't get a timeout, right? We were out of timeouts. You can't really, the crowd's allowed, you can't relay a message. And so, you know, I told them we're probably going to run the same call twice. And that's uh, what we ended up doing. Front row on your right, Pete Sampson. Mark, the first fourth down stop where uh, Sam ended up scrambling, what was the call supposed to be? Yeah. Uh, what did they show? And then, did, 
yeah. also the thought of going for it there opposed to kicking what would it Yeah. Be? I mean, any time we're across the 50, I mean, it's, I'm going to probably go for it on fourth and one, you know, and that's just you, you play the percentage. You're either going to be all in and do it or not. Right. And, and and obviously when you don't get it, it's terrible. But but the percentages show you, man, fourth and one, you, you cross a 50, you have to go for it, you know. And so because of the percentages of getting that, um, the, the call was getting a big personnel and, and really try to get them to think we're going to run and take a shot, you know, and be aggressive. And it was a play action pass and they covered it well. And, you know, Sam's got to he knows he wants he's got to make that first down. You know, we knew, hey, if they covered the pass then Sam would be able to scramble and uh, just came up a little bit short there. And I guess when you were in the locker room talking to you, how much of a sense of just a missed opportunity does tonight feel with all, all these small moments that, yeah. that add up to a three yeah. point loss? I don't want to take anything away from Ohio State and um, their victory, but we did not play as well as we could have. And that's the disappointing thing, you know? And so that's not taking anything away from Ohio State. That's just evaluating us, and we didn't play the entire game, right, just the way we, we would have liked to. There was, there was drives, there were spurts that we were just really moving the ball and defensively really shutting them down, and then you give up a big play or, or you know, man, there's just a couple plays you wish you could redo, you know, but you can't, so you got to learn from it. You got to pick your head up and learn from it, and we got to move forward. Front row, far right, Eric Hansen. Hey, Coach, I know that you want a – Offensive line, defensive line driven program. You said that from the start. How do you feel like that fared tonight? I thought it was up and down. I think there were times we were controlling the line of scrimmage offensively and big plays were happening. But the times that we weren't, they were getting tackles for loss. I mean, you could just watch it on the video board and just say, okay, that guy beat one of our players and it's a tackle for loss, you know. But when we were really controlling the line of scrimmage offensively, um, we were able to move the ball rushing, especially later in the game. Defensively, I don't, I, I, I got to go look and see. Um, I think we did a good job stopping the run. I don't know how many rushing. I had the long run, I know that. Um, you know, uh, Travion Henderson had the long run. But other than that, I thought we did a really good job stopping the run. We just didn't get enough pressure. You know, I just felt we weren't getting pressure. I wanted to hit him more until probably the last series. I think we got a little bit more pressure the second last series. But we got to find ways, as you all brought up many times, of getting pressure um, on the quarterback. Second row, um, far right. Coach, you said you you got you didn't want to rush anyone else on the field and risk it getting a penalty. What's the disadvantage in that situation with where the ball was at being at the one yard line? Yeah, it, is there an advantage maybe just to take the penalty so you can have eleven men on the field? Yeah, you you could have, you know, you could have, but you know, to me it was like, hey, don't give them another opportunity to get settled and to try to make a different call, right? Hey guys, like. Stay off the field. Let's not give them a freebie from a half yard line, and um, let's try to stop them. You know, and I thought maybe they would do the same thing they did to snap before. They didn't. They end up running the ball. Um, so I got to watch the play and see where the ball hit. But um, yeah, that's why I made that decision. And then third row on your right, Tim Priester. Coach, does does part of what makes this hurt so badly? the knowledge that or do you feel like you outplayed them for the majority of the game no it hurts because we didn't play at our best that's that's I keep saying it's 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 not about them as much as it is about us and playing at our full potential and that's what we're chasing and that's why I'm disappointed because if we would have a couple more plays the result of the game would have been different but we didn't and so it's not that we gave the game away. It's just that we didn't reach our full potential, you know, and uh, that's the disappointing part. I want to ask about Mitchell Evans. You didn't have him uh, last week, and you, you had him this week. Um, obviously made a pretty big difference for you guys. Yeah, he's a difference maker. It's, it's great to have him back. Made some big plays today, big catches, and did a good job in the run game. Any other questions for Coach? In the middle, right, Mark, uh, Mike Bernadino. Marcus, obviously you feel for everybody, but just uh, Sam in particular has had a lot of these losses at his previous stop, the, the devastating loss, and for, for him to be here and 
have it in that way, just the camera kept finding him, and what, what was your exchange with him yeah, afterwards? I don't, I don't know what he had at his previous stop, right? What does today have to do with where he was at? It's disappointing because he's the quarterback of our team, and we didn't win today. We didn't reach our full pretend. We didn't win. And so that has nothing to do with where he was previously, you know? And so I feel bad for every one of our kids. Every one of them put their heart into this thing, right? So I don't feel worse for Sam than I would feel for everyone. Every one of our kids prepared their tails off, and they went out there and gave it everything they had. So I feel bad for everybody. And I'm, it has nothing to do with last year and where Sam was at and, and those type of games he might have had. And you said the, the analytics, uh, everything pointed to going for it early rather than get on the board first. Mm -hmm. But that was something that I think you wrestled with even in the offseason as you did your self-assessments. Do, do you question yourself at all uh, at that point? Or is that that's just uh, that's something you'll do in the future if presented the same opportunity? I'll probably do the same thing. But we we got to find a better way to execute. That's what we have to do is we have to find a better way to execute. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. Thanks, guys.